What is up, guys? We are back with a little Quantum Break action. You know, Fallout 4 is my jam, but I really do like Quantum Break. The game's just got such a great story and cool time powers. I'm surprised it wasn't more of a hit. Anyway, I know it won't get as many views as my Fallout 4 videos, but I'm going to continue trying to finish the game for the playlist. And of course, the awesome factoids I can bring you during gameplay. And by the way, these factoids also get archived on the School Zone website in uh, alphabetical order under the Knowledge tab. So someday when the list is really large, people will be able to look up a question from the list and just watch the answer right in the middle of gameplay, which is the ultimate in contextual learning. Anyway, I'll continue interspersing Quantum Break episodes between my Fallout 4 episodes every couple of weeks until it's complete. So in the last episode, Jack was trying to save his brother who just got captured by the Monarch Militia. So we are on to the library chase here. You guys ready? Let's do this. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Okay, so uh, first of all, <laughs> man, we are getting into summer and it is getting hot and just about every single apartment in my apartment building is running their air conditioning right now. And uh, you know, I record these during the day, so I have to go in and do massive amounts of noise reduction in post. And sometimes it distorts the, uh, the audio a little bit. So you guys do me a favor and tell me if uh, everything sounds okay and if my audio is, is doing good for this video. Uh, if it's not, then I'll try to figure out some other ways to compensate for all that air conditioning rattle in, uh, in future episodes, both this and for Fallout 4. Okay, I am going to take a quick look at uh, the buttons because I actually haven't played this in a while. Let's see here. There we go. <laughs> I just need to refresh my memory on which buttons do what. So I know we've got the vision power so far. We can jump, of course, reload, fire weapon, aim, dodge. I don't think we have that one yet, but we do have the time stop. So right button and Y are my two main abilities right now. Hopefully we'll pick up some more. Okay, let's get into it. I wonder if I've talked about the periodic table of elements in a past episode. I know I did a little bit of that during uh, one of the Far Harbor quests, but I will put a pop-up for you guys with a couple little tidbits on that whole thing. Like maybe when it was started and how many elements are in there, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, we've been here before. I remember seeing that Alan Wake thing. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, let's see. We probably have to go exit. Not that way. <laughs> oh, there we go. Reveals our objective when we press that. Whoa! <gasps> Fuck. Tap LB. The time dodge. Nice. <laughs> oh man. Shit. That's a cool power. Oh shit. Grenade! Oh my goodness. Oh, he threw a grenade. No, 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 I better no. get out of here. Whoa! All right, I'm gonna tap this guy. Okay, I am hurting. Boy, I haven't played this game in a while. <laughs> That's what happens. Okay, let's get this right. There we go. All right, just takes getting used to, you know, it goes. Oh, there's more. Okay, he's done. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm getting it. Left and right buttons. Got to get to the library. That's where they're taking you. Got all these game controller buttons in my head, you know? <laughs> Fallout 4, Quantum Break. I just recently went back and finished Assassin's Creed, you know, just for the fun of it. That was a really fun game. Yeah, Man, I just, Jack. God, I wish, uh, I wish Ubisoft would fix their save system. I'd feature a lot more Ubisoft games on the channel. Okay, well, let's keep rolling. I guess I can't pick that up or I'm all good on ammo or something. Oh, interesting. Okay, you can kind of follow where they were taken. I get it. Go 
going into the cafeteria for a snack. Maybe not. <laughs> what? You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. are out across the whole damn campus. Somebody cut the power. This was supposed to be a quiet operation. We got where we came from. Yeah. Let's see the media shitstorm that follows us. Hey! It's all being taken care of. You heard the big guy. Contingency plan is in effect. We finish what we started, and we reconvene at the dry docks. Simple as that. We got problems? Okay, they gave a couple of cool factoids. So I think I'm going to pause this real quick and uh, give them to you so we don't get run up on while I'm trying to give you the cool factoids. Well, first of all, he used the word contingency. Uh, contingency means something that happens or needs to happen on the condition of other things happening. <laughs> I guess that'd be the best way to put it. It usually implies like a backup plan. For example, if plan A fails, the backup plan is plan B or the contingency plan. He also mentioned dry dock. A dry dock is a place where a ship can be lifted out of the water uh, to be cleaned or stored. It's usually like in a port hangar or something like that. And since we're in a library, by the way, what was the first library in history? Well, although there were some scattershot forms of libraries around the world before the third century BC, the Library of Alexandria in Egypt is widely considered the first major public library in the world, established in part by Alexander the Great. Thus, Alexandria? It held so much written information and so much ancient knowledge that its value is utterly incalculable to this day. Unfortunately, it was burned around the 7th century AD at the hands of Muslim armies, which is, of course, not to make a generalized statement about Islam or anything. It's just a historical fact that they didn't want any written information to intercede with the Quran after they captured Egypt. It's a shame, too, because one can only imagine what kind of historical knowledge could have been found in the Library of Alexandria in the years before it was destroyed. Stuff that probably could have changed history if studied. I mentioned in my AMA video some events and history I'd visit if I had time travel powers. The Library of Alexandria would definitely be on that list. All right, let's resume here and see what we can do with our lack of stealth powers. It's Joyce! All right. Cool, you can kind of blitz people with that time dodge power. Oh man, okay. He's done, foe. Oh, this guy's over there. Oh, there's a double time I can do. Oh, shoot. I have to wait for it to recharge. Oh, snap. He gets taken down. He gets taken down. Just a college kid picks up a gun, has time powers, doesn't know what to do. No military training, no kung fu classes, just picking up guns and using new powers. He doesn't even know what they do. All right. I got to remember that cooldown period, man. That messed me up. I think. Lights are out across the whole damn campus. Go over here and hide over here and maybe a little safer. It's supposed to be a quiet operation. We got what we came for. Yeah. Let's see the media shit still follows us. Hey, it's all being taken care of. You heard the big guy. Contingency plan is the plan. hop this. We finish what we started and we reconvene at the dry dock. Can't. Simple okay. as that. We got problems? Reload, 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 reload. Dodge. Okay. Circle around. I'm already red again. Oh, this is this is tough. This is the tough level. Taking on a whole squadron of these guys. Oh, nope. I don't think so. See that dodge. Recoil is crazy. Headshot. Just got a couple left. Flank him. Oh, down to the gun. Frag out. Down to the pistola. Oh no, I don't think so. Time to move. 
Oh, that was sweet. Is that about all the melee I can do? Oh, <laughs> uh, this game is missing such an important stealth element. Yeah, I'm not into the whole guns blazing style thing. I like to be tactical, and when when S hits the F, it's not that fun. Okay, we got to go down there. Oh, here's some stairs. Let's do this. All right. What the? There we go. Oh, more. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Almost recharged, and I'm recharged. There we go. Four. Nice. <laughs> there we go. It's all coming back to me, guys. It's all coming back to me. Okay, gotta get to the library. What do we got here? I want a better weapon. This SMG with its crazy recoil isn't... Can I pick that up? All right, switching weapons, switching no weapons. Time to lose. I gotta get to Will. All right, we'll figure it out. Not through there. Nuka Cola? Nope, it's called Sizzle. <laughs> you know what? I think I can press this button. Have to reach Will before it's too late. Oh, okay. I got you. It's back out this way. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. <laughs> Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. All right. Cool. Cool. Looks a little watchdoggy here. Like that game though. Where did that come from? Nice. All right, let's try to climb on up over these uh, porta bodies. Okay, We're safe for the moment. Ah, uh, we got to get up there. Okay, so how do we climb? But it's this way. That looks like a way up. Jump. There we go. Come on, I don't have time for this. Oh. It sinks on your weight. Gotta slow that thing down somehow. <laughs> that is so from Watch Dogs. But it's like I'm not the only one with a grudge. I think I know what to do. What if... Can we freeze inanimate objects? <laughs> like that? <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah. We're smart on the school zone. An eye out for snipers. This is Airlift Prime. We've got the time machine core in transit. Hey! Uh oh. Hands where I can see! He was about to give up. He was about to surrender. Someone shot him. What the hell is going on around here? The sniper on the grassy knoll. <laughs> Okay, we want to get down there. Let's see what we got going on in here. Nothing. I want a better weapon. Give me a better weapon. I'm done with this thing. Okay, I got to look up how you switch weapons real quick. Weapon select. There we go. That's the last thing I look at. There we go. Okay. Oh, man. I want a third option and a fourth option. Why can't I throw grenades? It's you. We've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. I got over. <laughs> I wonder where the brother is. The skeleton crew is waiting for arrival of Monarch Actual. Everybody else needs to reunite at the Dry Docks Cronin Extraction Grounds. Wait for further orders there. Library is set to blow in five minutes. 
five minutes. The library's ready to blow. Now? Man, I nailed that dude in the back. What's up with that? There we go. That's how you take command of the situation. Heavy pistol. I guess I could replace my other pistol with that one. All right, we can't be dilly-dallying. Place is about to blow. What are you doing, Paul? You're going into your loot mode. You're going into your Fallout 4 loot mode. <laughs> Oh, I see a little retro cognition action here. What about this one? Oh, you gotta hold it down. That's what it is. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. Over. Huh. Okay. Let's keep moving. Can I loot that tool chest? Grab some wrenches and aluminum cans for my settlement? <laughs> Jack, run! Damn, hit bro. Oh, they're gonna have to pay for that. Oh, new power time. B is the bullet shield. It's the Matrix bullet shield, oh yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. We got dodge, we got shield now. We just gotta to try to remember which button's which. Keep pushing. Cover me! Suppress fire! Okay, it just doesn't move with you. Alright, just learning here. Let's go back to our SMG. Could not time dodge. Press the button. Oh, reload, reload. Look at that crazy recoil. I want the assault rifle. I want the assault rifle. Now I can do some damage. Who we got left? Oh, we got some things we can blow up here. Okay. Oh, oh that was cool. Goes right. Okay, I like this gun much better. Much better. I want to shoot those flamey things and have them blow up, but it's not going to happen. Ooh, shield knockback. Okay, that's. Let's try that one. Let's try that one. Come on. Boom. Oh, I like it. Even melee the guy. I was gonna pop him in the head. Okay. <laughs> Will, you all right? You're fine. Are we good? Assault rifle. I got a whole new batch of messed up shit. I need you to explain. All right. Well, you just hold on, bro, while I give my other bros <laughs> a little factoid. So, what is an assault rifle anyway? Well, it's basically another name for a rifle that can fire both automatic and selective fire. You know, like single shots if you want, burst fire, or full auto. An AK-47 is an example of an assault rifle. But uh, who came up with the name assault rifle? Well, it was Hitler. Yup. He renamed the MP-43 into the uh, Sturmgewehr 44, which uh, means assault rifle 44. You know, I think I actually talked about the history of assault rifles in one of my Sniper Elite 3 episodes. Uh, this may be my first double factoid, people. <laughs> I'll dig up that link and leave it below if you want to check it out. Okay. Man, my instinct is to explore. I just want to explore, but the place is going to blow up soon, so... Guess we'll keep moving. Where are you, dude? There you are. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. Hold that thought. Oh. 
My briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the fracture. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. I want to hit that. Oh, that head. Okay, that gun yeah, is well, no good. That thing's here. got real cool, like crazy. Oh, but I have no. That's I have no part ammo. Of the messed up shit I need okay. Then we shall Checking just have to do this. Time? No. Boom. Time to come up with one. Can you see that recoil? Oh my god. Boom. Oh, I can't. I gotta wait. <laughs> Semi auto shotgun. Okay, I'm taking that. Oh, I gotta go over here. Boom. And where are you, dude? Kaboom. Okay, there we go. They changed their minds. That's how it's done. Leg shot. There we go. One more, one more. I got one, one. I got one shot left too. Oh my god. Okay, here's what we are gonna do. Time stop. And right in the face. There you go. <laughs> one shot, one kill, one bullet left. There we got rescue. Will. Is that all of them? Yeah. Okay. Do we have a little so. reprieve here? Now save you. We have to get to my briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. I'm listening to you, man. I'm listening to you. I'm just resupplying over here, and I don't want to take the SMG. How about this? Ah. Give me the good stuff. What do I have? Oh, I can't even check it right now. We are in story mode. <laughs> right this way, my friend. Let's move. There we go. Show up. Are you with me? There you go. Jack. Oh, Paul? it's Paul. Jack, it's me. Paul. No, it's not. <laughs> Guy's aged a little bit. I'm sorry, Jack. No! Oh, damn. It's that trailer Tom Kung Fu. Paul, what happened to you? What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it. For 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this. Damn. Is that it for his Broheim? No! 
harsh. You're not going anywhere. Wow. All right. What a way to end it. A cliffhanger. <laughs> so that's why he's aged, because it was 17 years. Fascinating. All right, guys. Well, we are, we are going to end it right here. End of Act 1. I feel good that I completed an act. So we will continue on with Act 2 next time. Wow, I'm just still, I'm still rattled. That was, that's some wild story arcs there. That's for sure. All right, I'm kind of excited to see what happens next. And we will do that in the next episode. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Ooh, it's getting exciting. I'm starting to get the hang of all the buttons and the powers. Just gotta, you know, switch gears. Well, make sure you hit that annotation link if you want to check out the last episode. The center link will play the whole playlist for you, and that next link will play the next episode when that one's up and running. Guys, really appreciate it when you hit that like button. It doesn't just help the video out, but it helps the channel out. So time, fracture that like button, subscribe if you haven't, share the video around, and we'll see you next time on The Skull's Out. Stay smart.